people get back up and hit my bad that uh it, it, it kicked us good, out man. we we here bro we we up in man we here bro shout out to everybody that's here taking the time you know what i'm saying shout out to all the people that's chiming in you know i've been blessed how you blessed, been bro i can't even lie I, i've been i've been blessed like man um it's been it's been a lot the process uh with just um adjustments um and I guess, um, in a spiritual sense, I've been having a lot of adjustments to to do. Um, fatherhood has been treating me very good, been treating me very well. Um, I sure got to see how your son Yeah, my, man, father, yeah, man. Yeah, my daughter, been... she about, man, she'll be four to eight months. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Fatherhood has been good. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, been good. I'm actually going right. to Africa uh, next month, so I'm gonna be out. Oh, how there long? Two I, ain't let, there? I ain't let nobody know, but yeah, I'm gonna be out there for two weeks, bro. Be out in Africa for two weeks. You gonna get some what? For some music uh -huh. or just to get Point away, and sit for, still, for some relax. Some reasons, but I mean, I'm gonna still go out to do my thug. This one on the music, right. like I'm gonna still go out there and, and peep the scene because I'm being Legos, so I'm gonna go out there peep the scene. See how um see how they move out okay. there, you know what I'm saying? Just to see how like the just see how, how they do their little um Afro beat and everything. I don't wanna say little, but just see how they do Afro beat as a culture. Um uh, going out there and seeing um I guess being a part of um um I guess feeling like an outside. Like I had a friend who who been to uh West Africa and she said it's like being an outsider at home. It's like you come there and you feel the embrace. You feel like you're at home, but you also feel out of place due to, you know, you being lost and the trauma that came with being lost. So, mm. yeah. So you're yeah, looking, really forward, looking forward, to forward to it. You know, Benny been out there. He the only other person outside my family that been that been out to Africa. So I'm looking forward to seeing. I've been. He been a Ghana. He been a Ghana. So I'm looking forward. Comes from it, man. You know, he the, right. he the reason. I mean, you know, we gonna speak on that, but he's basically one of the reasons why uh, I've been so steadfast on trying to like reconnect our people and, and get everybody, you know, back on what we what we got to get on. So you know what it is, bro. Yeah, that's hard. Before I'm a, but since we got we well, we got twelve people up in here now, so. We gonna get it started. So welcome everybody to GFM, this guy fair man. So at the end of the day, who we got today, this right here, uh, let me see. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> off the dome, see how I can they introduce the kid. Hard, man, so, I love You ain't gotta do all that, man. I mean, just. I know, yeah. but it don't oh, matter. Yeah. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna stop, off, bro. Right here. Let me let me see. Uh let me see how I can introduce you. Um, um right here we have one of Chicago's own West Side on yep. two nineties on uh Vice Lord on West uh, uh North Lundell on um Chicago's Jay Dilla. Uh we got Chicago's uh one of the Pecan special ear. We got Damn. Chicago uh <laughs> I could keep Lord, but I'll start right there. Hey, everybody, this is right here, Lord yes, Eddie himself. Yes, thank Introduce you, yourself, you, bro. Uh, man, I appreciate it, bro. Thank you. You know, we go way back, bro. We, we we locked in. I think it was that day at North Bar. I seen you perform when Tony Baines had that had that uh, show, and I was doing my set. And then you had your set, and I was like, oh, shit, you know, your name, Bobby Gore. I'm like, okay, let me. I'm listening to what you, you was talking you know what crazy? That, that was, was first, yes. That was the first time. And what was crazy? Crazy. Not only that was my within my first five performances, believe it or not, and I only oh. did it for Tony Baines. So when, now yeah. the, that was our first time meeting. You walked up yeah. to me, then I had you had yeah. a mama with you. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so the fact, yeah. So when y'all had, <laughs> so when y'all was hot at me. 
it it came out oh, since your name Bobby Gore mm -hmm. it came out that y'all was the bloodline of 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 being himself. You heard me. So it's been yeah, yeah. That's so the, that was the first. Yo, that's Benny and your mom. No, Benny they, and your mom, so they mama, brother, brother sister. So uh, Benny's mom, my aunt Ruby, is my grandmother's sister, and so um, she's no longer with us. Uh, my my aunt Ruby, she's no longer with us, but my grandma is the only one is the only sibling left of her of like my my grandma is like i want to say 14 out of 15 children like you know like they from south so they had like big families mm. and shit they had uh, my mother like, me, like <laughs> she's like the last one living out of her siblings and um her sister ruby that's benny's mom so him and my uh benny and my mom are first cousins and i'm you know second generation so um when i came up you know it it was different so i i grew up in austin and growing up in austin it was different because okay. like benny had a benny had a shop around the corner from my crib so all right let me give you let me give you his uh no you this talking about saying Cole. Cole. this is folks oh oh all right, all right. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. My mom's house, the house that my mom currently resides in, it was built in 1926. My grandmother bought the house. My grandmother bought the house um, okay. in, the, I want to say, in the 50s, 60s. And so in the house, um, my, my grandmother lived there with my mom and her siblings. And then uh, my Aunt Ruby, uh, Benny's mom, they moved in. So in that house, my mom grew that I grew up in. My mom grew up in there, and Benny grew up in there. So it was two families in this big old three bedroom house, and then a basement. They like some of my uncles lived in the basement and stuff. It was it was different back then, but you know, black families back then used right. to come together. They used to come together in the crib. Yeah. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like we finna come together, oh, to pay off this little mortgage, and then when when the other family ready to save the money, they gonna buy a crib, you know what I'm saying, down the street or else. So they All practiced right. that back in the sixties. So when my aunt Ruby got up, got her money, they 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 uh once they got their money up, they moved. And so uh, you know, Benny of course, being a Apache Vice Lord, starting that back in the day, and then them transitioning to Mafia Insanes, uh, they they was all up and down Cicero and stuff. They was all up and down Cicero. And so that's where the story kind of starts from, like the bloodline being like, I, right, like we all lived in the same house. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, what uh, that's like? It was gross, though. What it, it was cool, what and, like, and especially there. like in the '90s. Benny had a uh, Benny had a store. He had a, ca uh, a candy store on Leamington and Madison, and in that candy store, they sell snowballs, mm. sell all type of candy, all types of things. And and this one, Madison was like. It you know, Madison. Madison. So uh yeah. 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 So this is when Madison was Madison. And so um being up in that, it was like growing up in that environment under that wisdom, like with my mom being up under that structure. Uh she had a lot of wisdom herself, not just from um, you know, the influence of what's going on as far as like the civil rights era, but my mom like involved with the community. So my mom, um, like since since I guess growing up, my mom always been instrumental. She used to work for Cease Fire. Uh, she used to she used to work for Cease Fire, you know, doing youth outreach services. Uh, she also used to, um, because uh, my mom was a community organizer, so she used to work with a lot of different West Side organizations. She used to work with Bethel New Life. Um, she used to do a lot of nonviolent mm. prevention um, campaigns, and that's where she brought Benny in, like doing um like most of like she she brought benny in doing like most of like the youth outreach like talking to like um formerly incarcerated people because he has a, a uh, he has a company you know what i'm saying the, uh i think it's the national alliance for the formerly incarcerated and so uh what what, mm -hmm. benny, what benny does with my mom is like my mom will always reach out to the youth for community organizers but she will always bring benny on board uh with any of like youth outreach services so if it's like at-risk youth 
he'll come there, sit down with them as as an OG, talk talk with them about like, all right, what's going on? Where you from? Okay, oh, you over there so and so. Oh, all right, I know I know where you be at. Like you know, like an OG, like I know where you be at. And so with that, he That's cool. would, you know help them try to get on the right path. And um, at the same time, if they if they didn't listen, you know, what I'm saying if they ain't take in the knowledge in the game. If they got locked up, once they got out of jail, he would help them get reacclimated back to society. Because Benny's uh, his his focal point okay. will always let people know like seventy percent of the incarcerated uh, felons that's locked up are repeated offenders, and so his goal is always mm -hmm. to try to help guys get reacclimated back to society, try to help them, um, you know what I'm saying, get adjusted, get jobs and stuff like that. So always been around that. And like my mom, she started uh, a West Side, uh, started West Side Cultural Alliance. So recently, this past, I want to say this past fall, uh, Benny was at one of the, um, Benny was one of the guest speakers at one of the events, but she has this thing called Say It Loud on West Side and I'm Proud and do a lot of different like history on the West Side. So Benny came with, you know, the uh, Vice Lord history. Uh, she had former Black Panthers come through and speak and, 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 you know what I'm saying, educate the youth on what really happened, especially with, like, the assassination of Fred Hampton and all the stuff that really went down. Um, there were a few West Side members that talked about the race riots that happened. I just explained this to somebody. Uh, I was like, the reason why the West Side so visually messed up uh, is, be is because huh. of the race riots. You know, like, outside of, like, the city not funding the West Side, uh, visually, why not good is because really? all the race riots that took place happened out west. Oak Park, right. Park, Oak Park is a sundown Fast. town for those who don't know, and Cicero, Illinois, is a sundown town. So these are two sub like surrounding west side areas that's very close to the west side that are sundown towns. And so Benny used to tell me, like, you know, when my mom wanted to. Okay, for those who don't know, a sundown town is basically what it is. If the sun goes down, they gonna even it's gonna be lynch mobs. It's gonna be uh, you know what I'm saying, white supremacist lynch mobs coming around trying to antagonize you or potentially kill you. And so, you know, that so that it is like you couldn't you couldn't go to certain areas before the sun went down. Because if the sun went down, that's your ass. And you got so Oak Park. It was on you. This is interesting. Okay. Oak Park, you know me, me and you know like now we grew up. Oak Park starts once you cross Austin, in a sense. Uh, from what right. Benny right. and my mom right. um, explained to me, Oak Park start with the dividing line from Chicago to Oak Park used to be Cicero, and so yeah, mm -hmm. it used to be Cicero. So um, Cicero. Yeah, Cicero used that. to be the divider line back in like the 50s and 60s. Cicero used to be the divider line from Chicago to Oak Park. So they ex mm. Chicago, That's you know what I'm saying, and, and <laughs> tips. Why them houses? That's why you like had that. most, of them, most of them houses yeah. over there, them big houses, you know, in Austin, like Northern. northern yeah. All right. All right. Hey, well, <clears throat> so what it's like, I know because what it like you know it just hit me too the show we met on that was hap show so we got to go back and rip hap that was that was that was a hap show no wait the show that bangs that was no it was tony bangs and then it was the hap show tony bangs show was at north bar that's where we first met and then right second time right yeah yeah, uh, RIP. That's what locked us in. The third time you came to the uh the event, yes. right on 16th yes. in London, yep. when we threw that thing outside. Y'all, that was like yeah. man, we two, three, and we've been locked yeah. like so this. Our RIP, yeah. shout out to all the <laughs> So let me, give them a history. Let, let, me, let me give them a little history on why you're okay. giving them so much history about Benny Lee and the whole back. Um, see, uh, y'all, I had um, Lord Haiti was the one who interviewed Benny Lee to uh, make sure that we got his vocals on the um, on the LSD project. But as I said, his his words were so profound, we had to put his, his Benny Lee's words 
in George Daniels' words in the book and make it an audio book in the book of his own. Okay. Go to book I, need, here, low need, key. I need access to that. I need a physical copy. You feel me? You can go on Amazon and get it. Look at yeah. that. I, I, need, LSD, I need a copy of that. Me? Access to that. Access to that. <laughs> yeah. But, like, it, what? with this because Unc them words were so profound we couldn't we couldn't put it every, it would it would have been over an hour and a half it's a it's a, it's and, a couldn't leave it all. And, and I wanted to salute you too because that's why you inst instrumental in this like if you could see it say questions by Laura Haiti I wanted to do that because though my son produced everything I still yeah. wanted to make sure we tie so, in and I work with each other. I appreciate that, bro. Like, thank you. So if you, I gave you, I gave Man, you 50% I appreciate on the I, whole. I, I really appreciate on, that. Like, for real, for real. I, I appreciate that. That means, that means a yeah. lot. Because uh, that, that was a process in itself, uh, talking to him, because he, uh, he he is a man who time is valuable. You know what I'm saying? He, he got real... Time is very mm -hmm. valuable, bro. And he's one of them people, you know, he's an elder who, when he talk, you listen. Mm -hmm. And listen, mm -hmm. you either, if you ain't, if you ain't got it up here to like really take heed and remember it, you got to write it down because it's so much to absorb. It's so much to so, so, right. You're going to shoot the game automatically. That got me into when, when we, when he called to me with me. And he talked about the report to the public that we supposed to be uh, continued. Uh, well, you know what I'm saying? So I got that down, like the untold story of the uh, conservative vice lord. Yeah. So remember that third event? That was the first event. That happened September 11th. So conservative vice lords first incorporated uh, September right. 11th, 1964, right? So to match it with the Twin Towers, oh. that's why we did the event on 16th Mundale to commemorate the 9-11 and the commemoration yeah, of uh, yeah. the incorporation of so, the You see what I'm saying? I so, to so that was like that third that. lock -in. And the reason like, why, like, I guess one of his reasons, of because he told me, so this is an also history of, like, my mom. When, 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 uh -huh. when my mom and my aunties used to go, now they used to go swimming at um, either, I think it was, Columbus Park. What's that? Over, is that Columbus over there on Central? Yep. Columbus. Columbus yeah. Park. Either Columbus Park or the Harris. Austin Town Hall. One of those. When, whenever my, whenever my mom, I think it was Columbus though, if I'm not mistaken, or Austin. One of those. But he used to tell me that whenever my mom and uh, aunties used to go swimming, um, I think to Columbus, the white people used to um, antagonize them, like that. Yeah, because again, Oak Park, the Vital Line originally was uh was Cicero. Mm -hmm. Shout out, shout out tracks out Islam, bro. Like wrong. So the dividing line yeah. between Oak Park and sure. at, at the time was Cicero. So when every time they crossed Cicero, they'd have to like it, oh, was, it, a was, of, it was a lot of race fights. So over there. His his motivation for doing all that, yeah. I guess, started because they used to fight, bro. They used to fight these. They used to fight these Caucasians, bro. They used to fight these. Uh, I don't want to say the cracker word, but they used to fight them because they was antagonizing <laughs> them. So like, and what he was protecting my mom, and my aunties, you know, just protecting the women. So that led to him right. saying, "I right, now I got a reason to fight." Like at first it was just like oh I want to join this shit because I want to I want to get into something I just want to fight but now it's like now I have a reason to fight and it wasn't until they became now nah, know the reason it's in my blood until... now I gotta go do my period back to Africa and understand yeah, exactly. what exactly so it for. wasn't it wasn't until they got it wasn't until he became more political uh -huh. and more uh, you know what I'm saying involved mm -hmm. with politics involved with the community and then you know if we take it back a little bit because bobby gore had a lot to do with you know uh helping the brothers get jobs and, and stuff like that uh but what 
you know, when right. some of them got locked up, you know, Benny got locked up uh, with Larry and Jeff. Uh, well, mostly Larry. I think, I don't know if Jeff was there, but Larry for sure was there. He got locked up with Larry and, uh, and Pontiac. They are, they, yeah, Larry. they were cool. part of the Pontiac 17. And so they was on death. Hold on, hold on. Hold okay, on. the Pontiac, Pontiac 17, 17 is a group of is 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 17. Uh, I want to. I'm not going to say gang, but 17 members of uh grassroots organizations. You know what I'm saying? 17, 17 members of different grassroots street fraternities. Let's just say that. Uh, <clears throat> Limited life and and who became companies. companies. And <laughs> so all, all 17 brothers was on death row because in 19, I think it was 71, um, in the, in the Pontiac prison, riots broke out and two uh, correctional officers got killed. And so they they put it all mm -hmm. on the 17 of them. And Benny was one of them. And Larry Hoover was one of them. I had the privilege of meeting one of them. His, name, his, uh, his mom wrote a book called Pontiac. Uh, his name was Kevin Tolbert. He passed away uh, last year. Um, and he was a black soul. He was part of the leader of the black souls. I, I met him in LA. Um, they was all locked up, and this is when they caught they formed Boss Brothers of the Struggle. So, yeah, when you hear a lot, mm, you hear a lot of guys say on Boss, they don't really know what it what Boss means. But when they say boss, boss, that's mm. the struggle. Now, that's what <laughs> they, from. they don't know what they. Uh, okay. LSD His, came yeah. from boss. I ain't never LSD heard. LSD came from brothers of the struggle, like because uh -huh. these brothers, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it was, it was, it was like in a in a sense, like okay, so it was two two ways how LSD formed. You had um with Chief Pep when he brought when he brought the brothers for the um for the workers union and how, and they was trying to get some brothers the jobs back in like the late '60s. I want to say like 1970 they was fighting. Right. Yeah. And they marched all the way from their neighborhoods. They marched all the way from their neighborhoods to downtown and they mobilized and they protested to try to get jobs for their community. And so, you know, once that, that happened, that was cool. But when they all got locked up, <clears throat> some of them, and the prison riots broke out, <clears throat> you had brothers of the struggle and they can and, and then. And when the brothers of the struggle came, it was like, all right, we got to put our differences aside for whatever reason, and we got to stick together because it's just us versus the system. And so, and that's and that's where boss came from. from. And so after that, they start they start mobilizing. Yeah. So hey. from there, it, it was just. Did Unk anything during the interview process for uh, LSD that shocks you? I want to say what really shocked me, of course, is like understanding what LSD mean and like understanding the power of the unity of us coming together. You know what I'm saying? The power of us coming together. Like another another thing. How they food for us when we are. Right. Got, another yeah. thing, too. I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad my I'm glad my brother Heron Tracks Hill is up in here because he can he can speak on like the more science. But like a lot of brothers did. If he if he want to hop here, he's still up in here. Is Heron still up here? Still up in here. Do send a request, Heron. We go from there. Hopefully, he's still up in here. But um, the a lot of a lot of these <laughs> brothers converted, you know what I'm saying, or reverted to Islam. You know, they all they all came back to their original. You know what I'm saying? They all came back to their ways. So like this, like the five point star comes from. You know what I'm saying? It comes from. You know the teachers of Nobu Juali. You know what I'm saying the six points comes from the uh, the teachings of the Israelites. You know what I'm saying, and it, these are all the same. These are all this, this all the same. You know what I'm saying. So it's just like, all right, which side you want to choose? Do you want to? At the end of the day, you know you're gonna be more at the end of the day. But are you gonna be? I right, I'm a more. I'm a Mobite or I'm a Israelite. It's all the same, but it's like. It's all depending on how where you grew up and who was your and who was your elder in that time. So let that's real history right there. And what did what that, did that history, history break down from right there? 
what that, us, us gaining knowledge and stuff. Well, I mean, like what region of the other world? Uh, like what that, that was uh, in Africa. I mean, yeah, as well as like okay, so with like Noble Drew Ali, Noble Drew Ali, um, who got the you know who brought forth the Moorish American flag and and, and kind of brought Islam to America. Uh, Noble Drew Ali um, acknowledged that. that there were a lot of people who so-called black are, you know, aboriginal to this land and that we don't know our nationality. And so that's, that's one side. And that came in like the early 1900s. And so what Jeff Ford did, this is why he, you know, did El Rukin and, and what we call Mo is basically Moors. We, we, I, I meant to ask, uh, butter about, the El Rukin transition bro, yesterday, so I'm bro, glad you you mentioned it's it. like this. It's like transition. You know Chicago. Oh, lingo. You know Chicago lingo. Hey, we not please. gonna say car. We gonna say cop. We not gonna. Say, I'm going to the store cop. or I'm going to the store. Like you feel? Oh, oh. that yeah. four was trying to tell yeah. everybody that no, we more. And so it came into I'm not a right. Oh, <laughs> so you know that's just the Chicago. Oh, I draw. So, I draw. So, niggas <laughs> just like, all right, I'm a more, but like that's what that's what Jeff Ford was trying to let guys know, like, no, you more, but they're like, all right, no, I'm more, like, <laughs> and they ain't know it, they, you know, but uh, that that oh. that, that history of Islam started, you know, even Nobu Ju Ali, who started who started the Moorish Science Temple, said Chicago was the second mecca, you know, um, and so Jeff Ford wanted to continue the legacy of that. That's why the transition happened. Continue the legacy. Oh. Let me break I always thought it was Morocco, Oakland, Chicago. Now so, okay. You know what I'm saying? Oakland. So you so said Oakland, so <laughs> Oakland and Chicago. The our, our our connection lies through the Black Panther Park. That's our connection. Because of Fred Hampton right. and, and his how how influential he was and instrumental he was with um, you know, with 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 the Black Panther Party, and then, for so Chicago still still, but see, this is of course crazy. Noble Drew Ali called Chicago the second mecca in the 1920s, before the Black Panther Party ever existed. Like, before niggas was even thought of, mm. he was like, "No, nah, we this this is the second mecca." Yeah, and uh, think about it, yeah. Uh, Chicago was founded by. A guy who looked like you and I, you know what I'm saying, it was founded by a Haitian man by the name of John. You feel me? Wow. So uh, Jean Baptiste Du Sable started founded Chicago, the only major city that gets a lot of money. I'll say because like Buffalo, New York was start was founded by uh, a brother as well, but mostly Chicago. You know, Buffalo getting they they getting they praise now through Gazelle, but like uh, Chicago was the first big major city founded by a brother. And so uh, Nobu Ali paid homage to that, and Jeff Ford just paid homage to Nobu Ali. And that's what helped with, with you know, the, the Black the, uh, the black P. Stones. It helped with them through Nobu Ali. You know what I'm saying? But he didn't get that not converted to it. So what was what connection? Was it connect? Was it connection with the uh, uh, that seven I'm in not, Harlem? I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty I'm, – yeah. Buffalo, that's what made. I don't mention, know, you know but saying? I wouldn't the doubt. It. I wouldn't. I wouldn't doubt it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, but I. So that with that, right. like, you know, us. I guess that's where all the literature comes from. All the literature comes from us, basically trying to reconnect with our history. Us reconnect who we are. Like, now we met with Unc that time. He told us he 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 um. He he put it in our ear to uphold his literature, and 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 talk about it, and and and, and um and um yeah uh, keep it alive basically. So I think um I did to me my way was LSD. Okay. And your way is transform. I see it. I you finna do something. You did on my soul one, and you did one point five. Hey, it's, what you it's finna coming, do with two? I see. I to, like this is me. So me going to Africa is all a part of that. It's all a part of that. Train. So me going. Okay. Because I hope, like, it, are you still 
still trying to make sure that funnel of you uh, doing what Unc asked us, because he asked me outside looking in, but you bloodline, so you really got more of a yeah. responsibility than me, I, mean, I feel. I mean, like, so you know, maybe, uh, <laughs> like, like, leave the exhibition to me or any other family members who's going to take it serious. Um, and that comes with, you know, lectures, that comes with seminars, workshops. Uh, so, you know, talking with, talking with, because he definitely said, like, all right, look, you know, I got to get his knowledge away to somebody. Somebody got to have it. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be in the right, right hand, hands with right, you. Right. Uh, and at the same time, you know, that's something that is needed, too, because when that literature came, that literature came because, like I said, a lot of us start taking, we start reclaiming our heritage. We start reclaiming who we are. And that's when you've seen a shift in the streets. Once the literature came, you know what I'm saying? It happened in, in jail. Most of the literature came in jail because they had access to those books. <clears throat> so once the literature came, like, the togetherness. It, it was, well, the togetherness, came, the togetherness came because of the race riots. So the togetherness then came. But uh, I guess... So that poor, so so being black is what caused them to drop all the stars and the flags and then just say, hey, let's just go up against what we clearly well, all up against. We ain't which gotta, forced them to have the worry. It was like balls and being so being up against the system, being up against the system made them realize like, damn, we in the same boat. And while they were in jail, they had access to those books of what the holy quran you know what i'm saying they had access you know what i'm saying to like different different type of books you know what i'm saying so you got the quran they had access to books on law they had access to you know different uh books about like metaphysics spirituality all type of stuff yeah like egyptology all all mm -hmm. type of books they had access to in in prison that's why like i mean it's clear when you think about it but like have you noticed how they used to say Oh, when 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 niggas go to prison, they come back all smart and shit, right? Yeah, yeah, like 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 in right. color used to make fun they of. Got, they access yeah. to those books yeah. that they didn't have access to, and it's like, all right, you ain't doing no knucklehead shit out here. So what you got to do with your time? You gonna utilize it and read and educate yourself. Same shit Malcolm X did. So when right. when they when they were in prison, and then they start. Being, uh, they start practicing, you know, nonviolent. Like that's something they learned from uh, uh, Dr. King, being nonviolent. Uh, but having access to those books, having access to those uh, books, like gave them more sense of self. Like, okay, hold on, what's really going on? Oh, you go. We got to break it down. That uh, uh broke broke down what those principles of nonviolence are in this book. That's one of the questions. So when you get it on Audible or you go to Amazon, that's literally one of the questions that Benny Lee breaks down and literally shares the principles. Like he said, the principles of nonviolence come from Dr. King. So even though we practicing Lordism, not the one of the the, the principles of nonviolence Absolutely. are also the part of that. Absolutely. Lordism. I'm glad that you said that because you you know, yeah. it's like I guess on the journey and this is part of also where the literature come from in terms of being more 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 uh spiritually based because it's it's easy to act violent it's easy it takes a lot of strength to not be violent it takes a lot of strength i used to hear this saying all the time saying corruption always goes downhill so if you look at like a hill let's just let's, let's look at a hill the uphill journey or the uphill battle towards spiritual tension is always going to be tough. It's always going to be wear and tear on your legs or wear and tear your, or your spirit, depending on how you look at it. Boy. Hold on. Before you go forward, before you go forward I, challenge, I, I challenge that part right there. If we approach the mountain in the incline in shape, we, we can, can all climb that mountain. We can. A little easier. But, you know. Go ahead. But to your, it, as you to your analogy, it, though. It's hard. You know, think about climbing the mountain. Like, me and you, when we was in L.A., we went, went up Rainy Canyon. That's tough on the, you know what I'm saying? Tough was, on the legs, tough on, like, ah, oh, man, it's tough. But when you get up, it's, it's but when, every time you go up, you get up it, there, it never it's gets easy. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful.
Yeah. Well, every time. Think about when every you walk time. down that hill or that mountain. It's so easy to go downhill because it ain't too it ain't too tough. So they knew that. It's all yeah. almost like something's pulling you down. And so what they taught me was okay, you. being being violent, it's gonna be easy to be now. It's it's easy to commit crime. It's easy to get into trouble. It's easy to do all this bad stuff that you want to do. It's easy to react a certain way. What's hard is acknowledging and looking at yourself like, damn, I could really hurt this person because they offended me, but why am I offended? You know what I'm saying? But let me not. That's, that's a lot but let me lot not. Of, it takes let a lot of challenge. You. Man, it's a lot of challenge. Because I know I can shoot. Right. I know I beat your ass. Right. That, but not. that's the challenge. That's it's the challenge like, now. Damn, okay, I got I to gotta <laughs> slow down. And so that is a part all of that literature <laughs> and that's why i was grateful that they brought forth the literature you know what i'm saying because now when they got out of jail they start influencing the streets like and, and that's when you know jeff ford started I mean, getting all that money but like you know what i'm saying politics then but we can't say getting all that money we got to say the names that was helping us it yeah. was the rothschilds it was the jp was. morgans it was the rockefellers carnegie these people was actually in our neighborhoods and actually walked and I, I saw say, what they I was donating the only money. The Lord's had with that is <laughs> you already know who. There's only one white vice lord in the world. Fuck it. Hey, he told me not to you use know the name, so we ain't gonna say it. He's a professor currently still right, right now, though. He's still a professor, and I talked to him, and he told me not to use the name. He said, "If he said, well, your resume as is is good enough. If I was you, I'd allow it let dying things die. Yeah. And I said, mm -hmm. Mr., yep. do your own homework to know who that is. I said, I have to well, respect my line. I'll say this. Home. He he might be right because this is what Benny told me. Benny was just like, Okay. The organization has been not only dismantled from the foundation of the leaders being gone, but it's been it's been corrupted, you know what I'm saying? Uh and because it's been corrupted, now it has a negative association because the leaders or the foundation is gone and they don't have the influence no more. So Hoover don't have influence over what's going on. So check it. I, I challenge you back then. Am I a boy or am I a doctor? What? Am I a vice lord or am I am I a black African American man with three master's degrees? That second one. And I'ma tell you why. I'ma tell you why. You because nowadays, right? All these Rico charges coming up, all these things coming up. Yeah, you can say, hey, we are not a criminal organization. We are not a criminal organization. We don't operate in crime. We operate in uplifting our community. That is cool. But now you True. got rappers who claim it in another different city who are doing destructive things. True. And, it, and it's bringing a bad rep to the, to the name. But, but that's true, but that gets into the insecure outworking Absolutely. the secure. You know, it does. It does. You know, necessary. But it's like, at the same time, now you go on Wikipedia and you put in Almighty Vice Lord Nation, it's going to tell you, oh, it's a game. You put in the the, uh, the disciple. They go, they go, it's already labeled amongst by the oppressors. Let me, I think we need to fight that. When you put in Black oh, Panther, oh, what comes up? Revolutionary, you know, it's going to say it's a, you know, it's going to say it's a, it's a ah, the first page now, the first page now, I got Chaswick Bozeman. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how you do it. We got to create a content. We got to create uh we got to create things, time pieces that are when they yeah. google it it's yeah. It's coming. So that that's part it, that's part of coming. the history though on like what what Benny was doing with educating people on the history of the uh you know the vice lords and also you know like lord thing. They talking about the history of how political things were and everything. So, uh -huh. which uh, so, golly was the narrator? You don't want to like okay. 
and, and, and the thing is, I see what Benny was saying. You don't want to associate with it because now, because of the uh, the uh, the attention that a vice lord has gotten now, if you say, oh, okay, I'm a vice lord, somebody is going to think you operate in criminal activity based upon the tar the tarnish legacy. That's true. We can't operate naive of the social perception. Nevertheless, we are from where we're from and we are who we are. So the, the, the purpose of this project is to show the same thing we displayed in 67. We could be all those things you say, but at the end of the day, when we go through this successful show and we go sell this album and we go do these things to make these marks, you got to call it what it is, too. So, and then to me, that gives the other side of the coin because it's yeah, such but a the climate one has changed. Coin. The climate has, like, the 60s, it was a different climate. This climate is totally changing. Like, we not only got our system, we not only got the system that we are up against, but now we got some of our own that's working for the system. But that didn't stop the kids from making no, mobs. it did. You know, but, like, it not be LS or D or or breeding them or or, or or third world, but so they mob. If we start a record, if we start we a record got, label called LSD, right? We start. A, let's say we start a record called LSD. Uh huh. I'm I'm just uh -huh. I'm like because I'm with you now. I'm, I'm with you. But let's say we start a record label called LSD. We it don't have to be, it don't have to be lower stone disciple. Right. It could be some. Some other stuff. They could Lake yeah. Lake Lake Shore 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 Shore. Shore. I don't, I don't Lake LSD Shore. records, right? And we might have headquarters right. on Lakeshore Drive. You know what I'm saying? We can have headquarters on Lake Shore Drive, right? Right. If we come and sign a LSD young records, right? And we might have headquarters right. on Lake Shore Drive. You know what I'm saying? We can have headquarters on Lake Shore Drive, right? Right. If we come and sign a young artist. Let's say we sign a young artist. He might be in trouble, might be at risk or whatever, right. but we sign a young artist to LSD records. Hold on, hold on. Is what you saying that is he black or white? See what you saying I'm, that is presumed I'm saying he's black. Like young artist that's at risk. I ain't, I don't care who he is. I don't care. If, I don't care who he is. I'm hey, at risk. At risk. Okay, but he's at risk for be, being black, right. brown, or if white. He's at, He's more right. than no matter okay. no matter his 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 nationality, his color, his race. All right, go ahead. Right? That's yeah. And we <laughs> advance, right? <laughs> Say we give him a, a 50k advance. Right. Now he could go back to his neighborhood. Right. It could be motherfucking Rogers Park. It could be South Shore. It could be anywhere. He goes back to his neighborhood, and he wants to help out. And it, and I remember Twenty One Savage talking about this. If somebody, if I if I put like you know what I'm saying, if I get if, if we give this young man money, and this young man goes and right, and people in this hood are like okay, I need to protect myself. All right, here he go eight hundred dollars, or he go a thousand dollars. He gives somebody a thousand dollars. That person take that thousand dollars buy a gun, or he gives another person five racks. That person go buy drugs. Now. The perception is gonna look like, oh, there's money laundering going on. Y'all are doing criminal activity because one of your signed artists is giving people money. And it's like, it may not be. And the money went. They no, watched the, the money. They tracked the money. Okay, track the money. okay you gave this guy fifty thousand dollars advance. What do you go do with that fifty thousand? So not rather it or not, we in Rico. This, That's young, what you, I this get young man might not, not even be on no like, oh, I'm finna try to put my hood on or try to do some stuff. He tried to like, man, niggas need to eat. Let me go. I don't care what you do with the money. Here go a thousand or here go two thousand. I don't care what you do with the money. You got to eat. Here, bro. Here you go. Here go a little money. That's but now they break, bro. That's like, great okay, you sign, point. you sign this artist that you record. That's a phenomenal point. Probably wise hasn't been a record label in Chicago, but like, that's a great point. Go ahead. Go you ahead. sign somebody okay. to LSD records and then that young man uh, the money flow goes like, okay, I'm gonna pay somebody who I'm affiliated with, and that person he's affiliated with has two felonies. You know what I'm saying? That person he got affiliated with got two felonies, and now something goes down. Whether not 
and you can't associate. They're they going to connect. I was that like, whole okay, room. okay, hold on. Why is this guy, why did I get 50000 from? <laughs> hey, that, these I points. So what you propose? That if we do, it, we, these Rico's big, bro. So I, I propose. I, I know, but it's not, okay, to know it, to, it say we got to know y'all, our enemy. Okay, that don't mean we, everybody don't survive. Hey. But that somebody getting through. So we just got to strategize how we getting through. So how we get no, can't be no. afraid. If we strategize, I'm just using it as a record mm -hmm. label because this is based in music. So if we do a record label, LSD Records, right. we're going to have to copy No Limits Blueprint. All right, we got to move you out of your, and we got to move you out of that environment that's trying to bring you downhill. We got to move you out of that environment. Let's go buy some land. LSD, LSD headquarters. It's owned by LSD Records LLC. LSD Records LLC. We. Hey, I'm. I'm think I'm knowing why, but I'm. I'm a presuming you saying buy land because if you just give the person the money, now that's still. What if that album don't recoup? Right. That album might not recoup. <laughs> They might have spent that money on some weed. They might have spent that money on some women. They might have spent that money on some protection cars. And now the, the people are going to look at, okay, we signed an artist. We signed an artist. He might have maybe one or two felonies. Or he might have a clean record, but then he, get, he, gets, a, he gets caught in, in a bad situation. Now they're going to look at, where did you get this right. money? Okay, from that. Okay, who, who is LSD? Hmm. Let's look at the key people in LSD. Okay, we see Bobby Gore right here. Why is his name Bobby Gore? Oh, it's named after Bobby Gore, the leader. Okay, whatever. Okay, at Lord Haiti. Why is Lord Haiti okay? Right. Oh, all right, he don't have no record. But let's look. At, right. They're gonna look we at. Okay, talk. they're gonna follow the paper trail. <laughs> then they're gonna look at the key people, and they're gonna see that okay, these people either got felonies or a criminal record, or they don't. And if they don't have a criminal record, they're gonna turn the other cheek. If somebody has a criminal record, they're gonna look. More into it and see. Oh, I propose the way around it: security, right? You hire them, you give them title jobs, so on and so forth, and you cut them checks through the businesses, the other ISCs, exactly. uh, other exactly. LLCs, and the other. Yeah. So what they do with that's that why, money is that's not. That's why I said if we do buy land, you know, the land would be like okay, we getting our people out of the environment, and we're setting up. We buy, we put the land in the trust, and now we're setting up. You know what I'm saying? Like homes and we setting up shop. We actually starting a small. But sound like I do. That's why I said no limit. That's why I was like, no limit did the best. Like, <laughs> that's why I know. Like, we get hit you know with no Rico. Like, they came after Suge. They came after Suge. Facts. They came after everybody, but, but here's the thing. Now, P going product is king. Now, why is product? Why am P saying product is king, product is king, product is king? Why isn't product king? Why isn't the product um, music anymore? Perhaps because he too yeah. sold. I mean, I think Master P burnt out. Like, he was trying to do too much at once, and he didn't take it slow. He was doing too much at once so and, and sold out. And then... But you got to hurry up and put out an I, album, an album a month, but, an album once, every but two weeks. We got to also think about it like now... I heard Currency say this about, like, he was just like, it would have been great for No Limit and Cash Money to do a tour. New Orleans would have took over everything. But the street and beef Mac stopped. Different projects. Oh, we got Magnolia. Then we got Cali. Right. So exactly at LA. now you go look come back to the environment that's messed up. Right. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, like, you got to be a show. It got to be a show. Right. Right? So once we get this show just successful right. one time, which you going to be at, oh, going back, going back, I'm going to F you up real quick. You realize that when we was doing MLG, yeah. me and Big Walla, yeah, you was on the show, right? I that was our first I show. Remember. But you see what I'm saying? Now, once we do this LSD show successful one time, how isn't it proof it's, it's gonna, of what you're it's saying? It's be proof. It's just, you know, the, the, the cards are stacked up against us. And because of previous history behind the names, pre 
True, but then let me get bigger reasons. To me, oh, the yeah, venue, of course. of course, but they not gonna. It's gonna be pure politics. So that's why we have a venue. We gotta run everything because tight, we, like security wise, everything gotta be tight, all that. So that's why I feel like with with the name and everything. This is why Benny came to me. He was just like the name. Like again, he said the legacy's been so tarnished that somebody that's you and our age, you know, what I'm saying your your age or my age. That's that 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 works for, you know, the CIA or the FBI. Somebody that works for the feds who might be in their late twenties, early thirties, who don't know what a right. vice lord is. They can Wikipedia and see, oh, okay, or they can go through all their all their records, all their federal records, and say, oh shit, the, the vice lord's got a long list of history that's been going on since the. Is that evidence of too many of us Absolutely. didn't listen to the laws? Absolutely. Okay. okay. So if, if some of us spring up or a lot of us spring up, yeah. like just being just taking the Libra scale, if a lot of us spring up doing it the, light, the right way, listening to the laws, listening to the reasons they mm -hmm. told us to stay mm -hmm. out of state, Bill, I'm the pendulum it got but away that, out a little but that's just where a little, just a little it was rich at back in the 60s because they found out who they are a problem with some of us we don't realize who we are we don't understand even deeper and we, in we don't, don't care to know. understand who we are we don't care to know and at the same time when you strip okay i tell people this all the time take away take away your name take away your game Take away your nationality, take away your religion, take away all the things that are labeled of who of what you think you are, and it's not that. Who are you? Like when it's all said and done, when this flesh, this vessel that's holding on to who you really are, when this vessel vessel die, when this vessel goes, when this vessel rots, when it's all said and done, right. who you really are. I say. My name, I claim Lord Haiti, but I'm not Lord Haiti. You claim Deacon Gore, but you are not Deacon Gore because I don't see you in flesh. I see you in That's the part. spirit, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Spirit is what led us together. That's what brought us together. Spirit is what brought us together. You feel me? It's like time to last. Spirit is what internet. brought us together, bro. We already yeah. been here before. We've been in this different lifetimes. So now we're sharing different vessels of, of a of a spirit that of two different spirits that's been here probably thousands of years. And so now we we I, already crossing back paths. Your sound shot. Your sound shot. All right, yeah, we take Yeah. We when you take away all of what? Uh, when you take away all of those things that you label yourself because your parents named you. Your parents gave you your name. You know what I'm saying? Now your birth certificate has records of that. That's the, that don't hold value or who you are. You who you are is greater than what people say. You know what I'm saying? So we can say, "Oh, we vice lords," but we can say, "Oh, we lord of vice, we vice lords." But can we really say that? Oh man, we are we are baby creator. We are basically manifestations of the creator right here. On, you know what I'm saying? Scientists. The creator lives within us. So we are all manifestations of that. That's why they brought the so you you're, you're challenging. Yeah. Let's fight it with stand with on the, the, that. The, the foundation. Not, not right of the root. Not so basically, not what your letter is in front of that twenty two twelve. But that that, that let's, let's just go back to, even uh, further. Okay. This is where we are. This is what this is what we is like. Hey, I'm cocking my hat to the left to pay homage to my ancestors in the east. I'm holding this cane for to for stability and support. I'm wearing this top hat because it's my crown. You know what I'm saying? Palm up, palm yeah. up to honor those yeah. that can't. Come on, bro. I could go all day, bro. I could go. Come. On. Hey, so do if you heard if you got a chance to get through the whole album, you think. We stamped that. You think oh, no, we? No, it's we, yeah, it's definitely you. We it, got so, that. The, the assignment was understood. Let me say that we understood the. We got it done.
<laughs> and you know what I'm saying? And justice was right. justice definitely gave it due diligence, bro. We did, we did, we gave, we gave right. LSD justice. You know what I'm saying? And I hope. Hey, that's it. Tell, 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 make that connection with, cause you being humble. You, you, you got your whole sister yeah. is who she yeah. is. We not yeah. gonna we'll talk about that, but let's just say. Well, she used. Let's just say she used to write for the source. Say source was source. source. <laughs> hey, that's that's a, that's a fact. The other bloodline. Hey, how we gonna do that? What you saying without her? Yeah, how it's like okay. Or what? Okay. Make that dot and connect and see what we gotta do to make sure Swank Publishing is involved in what we doing because. I know at the essence of what we both talking, she knows it too, because mm -hmm. it's running through her yeah. blood as well. And I'm just, it's the start. It's the start, because if this fails, if, we could put an if on that, then right. they stay right. This is the thing, but we have to, I think, <laughs> if we bring back the literature and educate these, you know, we got to come from, we got to talk to them from where they at. That's what made Malcolm X so unique to the people is because he didn't come with all this. He didn't come with all, you know, talk to people like they was dumb. He talked to people at the at the most basic level that they can interpret. He, we talk to these yeah. shorties yeah. at, at a level that they uh -huh. understand. Then it'll be, it'll be better. Like, I tell shorties, like on some business, I always tell shorties like when I'm giving when I'm giving shorties gems and stuff, I always got to equate it to the things that they know. So if I bring it to like you know talking about where they're coming from in terms of like the drug game, all this, I would have to. You use the metaphor or the analogy of something. Right, right, right. And that's our job. right. And that's our job. And that's our. Now with that said. Yeah, you. Uh, I, I got to mention another one of my favorite joints by you, uh, oh, yeah. Organic with Jay Hayes. I'm salty on that, so I'm going to throw that out there. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? I got to be on okay. Oh My Soul, Let, too, bro. We gonna have to... When you come back oh, from, when you come back from Africa and you come back with <laughs> the glow and your halo and your, blue, and your Bruce Leroy and you... <laughs> <laughs> and you get ready to hop into your uh your music bag. I Don't I forget about I got, me, bro. I, I Please, got you. I, you know, I, I actually got some stuff. I, yeah, man, and, and Rufus Sims on the album, but they they I think they was working on something. You, I think at the time, uh, yeah. bro was on yeah, house arrest, so it delayed I'm, things. I'm, we yeah, don't talk. We right. I actually got to talk, sit down, and talk with Rufus and and, and Jay on 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 what they. Yeah, we got to come together though. I do want to do something. Like we do, we do have for um with um five questions. We do, I mean five. You got five songs to get into heaven. Five what songs five you play? Get into heaven. God, I say play me five. Um, and if you and if these are five to get in heaven, that's the thing we coining on this on the guy on the GFM. You know what I'm saying? We having everybody who come over here and tell whether it's by your your favorite, whether it's by you. What's the, it should go there? What's them five records that it's just like yeah, this um, be God. Um, no, no order, we, no uh, order. All I'm these just winging it. Pilgrim. No order. I'm just no order. No uh, order at all. No uh, order. Just five. Bob Marley redemption song. Uh, um, Ooh. Tim's free mind. I'm. I'm, I'm Bob Marley. You say who? Redemption song. Tim's uh, Free Mind. Uh, no, yeah, no, Free Shine. Mind by Tim's. That's the that's the name of the song Mind by Tim's. Uh, Tim's. She okay. She, she okay. can she can sing. So Free Mind by Tim's. My therapist uh made me love that song even more because what it deals with. Uh so okay, that's two. Um hmm. shit. Uh Mm -hmm. I would say, okay, it's getting it's, it's, yeah. getting, it's getting gritty. Okay, so we you said, <laughs> um, I would say, ah, man, um, okay, 
Ooh, got it. Fela Cootie, um, I'm going to say, ooh, I'm going to be careful with this one because Fela Cootie. Say Fela Cootie. I'm going to try to see Fela. if I can, because um, he got a lot of great songs. Um, mm, I'm trying to find the best Fela Cootie song. Oh, uh, Fela Cootie. Um, I'm gonna do coffin for head of state. It's it's a song he's he it's, he talked about like the death of his mother and him dealing with like rioting and like mm -hmm. uh, Fela Kuti talks about in that song like how uh, they was riot they was rioting and with the Nigerian government and the government killed his mother by throwing her out the window and they. And they and they grabbed Damn. him out his out his out his palace. They dragged him out of his palace by his balls, literally. Dragged him out his pal dragged him out his palace by his balls. And they took him to jail and Damn. killed his mom. And what he did is, and this is with the Nigerian government, what he did is with the general, when he got out, he took a big ass coffin and drove that coffin all the way to the head of state. And so, but when he talked Oh, 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 saying like to the state. nigga that killed my mom and to the Nigerian government, I got a coffin for your ass. Yeah, yeah wow. it's called Coffin for oh. Head of State by uh Fela Kuti. But when you hear it, it's a lot of sorrow into it, and he mm. talk about you know praising God and stuff. So yeah, Fela Kuti, Coffin for mm. Head of State, Tim's Free Mind, uh, Bob. That's a jewel. Yeah, Bob, Bob Marley, Marley Redemption. Uh, Redemption song. Okay, so we had three. Um, shit. Okay, I got a name. I got to put at least one rap song in there. Mm. <laughs> I'm What's the one rap song? Whoa, shit. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I don't have rap songs. I would say for, but like. No, it ain't uh, rap. It's in vibe. Who is somebody I want to say? <laughs> man, I'm gonna have to go. It's it's either gonna be the pocket DMX. So, shit. Yeah, I'm. I'm th and now I'm thinking it's like DMX was devoted to God, but Pac at the same time had shit. Uh -huh. You looking at the Sagittarius? Sagittarius versus Gemini. I'm, I'm a Sagittarius, so I'm going to go ahead. All right, DMX. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead. DMX slipping. DMX. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. That, 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 that speaks to the heart. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, like I felt that. Hey, you didn't see that coming. Look, I thought you yeah. I did. I thought you was gonna pick something else. I didn't see that. My bad. What's that last with them the foe? Whoa. Damn, bro. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I, I I don't like that fifth song. If I wanna get to heaven, I got that fifth song. It's that I one. Gotta think, think about, I gotta think about. Man. Oh shit. Okay. Um, it's like like feel me, God. It's like feel me, God. Mm. This me right, right here. What's the name Ooh. of that song? It's an Erica Badu song. And that's gonna be that's gonna be the one. I gotta mm. find it. I think I think it was on yeah, it's an Erica Badu song. Ooh. Everybody gonna think it's then you know cause she was talking about time to save the world. Oh, here we go. And we just got it cracking up in here, boy. I, I see. It's a lot of people. Um, <laughs> oh, oh. oh. We just cracking, talking about the real. Okay. So the name of the song, I found it out. It's Erica Badu. It's called Twinkle. That's the one. Twinkle, because she's saying in her lyrics. They don't know their language. They don't know their God. They take what they're given, even if it feels odd. Mm. They say their grandfathers and their grandmothers work hard for nothing. And we still in this ghetto. So they end up in prisons. They end up in blood. They keep us uneducated, sick, and depressed. 
They end up in blood. Doctor, I'm addicted now. I'm under arrest. They end up mm. in blood. We making more money than the fucker. They mm. end up in blood. With no choices, no hope from us. Mm. They end up in blood. Started with a rhyme from old ancient times. Descendants of warlocks, witches with ill glitches. Children of the matrix be car switches. Mm. Seems the virgin Virgos hanging out with Venus bitches. They don't know their language. They don't know their God. They take what they even when it feels mm. hard. They say their grandfathers and grandmothers work hard for nothing. And we still in this ghetto. So they end up in prisons. They end up in blood. They keep us uneducated, sick, and depressed. They end up in blood. Doctor, I'm addicted. Now I'm under arrest. They end up in blood. We making more money than the motherfucker. They end up in blood. With no, There's no hope for us. Uh, they end up in blood. Wow. I'm going to listen to that tonight. And y'all should. I felt that. With that, any more last remarks, bro? What you got coming up? What's the what's remarks, comments, anything? Uh, like, uh, let us know. Talk to us. Let us know. Shit. Uh, um, I'm working that. on a new tape on my soul 2.0. So working on work at, uh, making sure that that is going to be the the next tape for me on my soul 2.0. Uh, making sure that um, like that be the one. One, I think this going to be the real, I think this really going to be the one. Um, so that's what I'm working on currently right now. I'm working with as many artists as I can right now. So um, working with this artist. Okay. He's from the low end. Bro, bro got bars. Like, and he, and he tough with it. Like, bro, bro official. So me and him working on the tape. Um, uh, and you going to no, Africa no. in two weeks. I'm going to Africa two weeks. the end of February. So uh, and next month, next month, I'll be in Africa. Yeah, so I'm going to. Okay. Was it stay, stay safe, stay, stay dangerous, stay out the I, way? You know what I'm saying? Bro, I know I'm you good. are. You're moving right down there. I got some people down there that's going to look after me. I got some Go people ahead. out there. Okay. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Already. So Everything I'm, I'm going to be straight, bro. I round love. So, uh -huh. yeah. But yeah, I appreciate it, bro. Like, so, so uh, of course, Africa next month. Look. And then. Uh, I'm working on On My Soul 2.0. I still got the rolling papers, still going hard. Um, trying to, I, I got something in the works. I can't speak on it. I'm going to tell you I, off the record, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you what I got going on off the record. But yeah, I got to keep that like that. Gotta do it still, like that. Oh, oh, ne last thing, last thing. Uh, this, well, next Saturday, January 28th. We're gonna be at Home and Square at the old at the mm -hmm. old Sears Tower over there on, on Home and in Arthurton. I've been putting it um at the buildings where I got I got a sound healing. I've been so what I got I had got some grant money from the uh School of Art Institute of Chicago and I've been doing this program for the last few months since October. I've been working on um healing the community through music. So I've been doing sound healing, music therapy, we've been doing a whole lot of like stuff aimed towards Hey, I hope you hear that while, yes, I, while I go January over there. January 28th at 1 o'clock. We got, we, uh, basically, everybody's welcome, <laughs> all ages, everybody in the community welcome. We just trying to do different ways, different methods of healing uh, healing our people and focusing on mental health through music. Okay. So, yeah. That's January hard. 28th, if everybody is available, 1 o'clock, 906 South Homan. Come to Homan, at the Homan Tower, 906 South Homan, 10th floor. We are going to be helping with mental health assistance with uh, music and sound healing and meditation. So we are really utilizing the power of frequencies to actually help our people. So talking about it and oh, yeah, talking about it. And being about so, it. yeah. But since we got that glitch, I didn't open up with your Bible verse. And let me know, and since it's the 17th, you know, I pick a Bible verse for everybody I interview. So I pick for you Isaiah 117. Learn to do right. Seek justice. Defend the oppressed. Take up the cause of the fatherless. Plead the case of the widow. That's you. Okay. I pick right. Learn I pick to do right. well. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless. Plead for the widow. Learn <laughs> good. Seek justice. Correction. Oppression. Bring justice to the fatherless. Plead the widow's cause. That sounds like...
Lord hated to me. When I saw, got to that verse with it being the 17th, Tuesday the 17th, I said, this verse I, right here, Lord hated I accept me. that. <laughs> I accept that. My brother, you know, I love you, bro. I can't wait to... <laughs> but it's time, yeah, yeah. I ain't going to keep no more time. Let's get out Chicago, of where you at right huh? now? Nah, I'm oh. west. Oh. I'm west. I'm, I'm going to be out there, be out there in like April, yeah. so we're going to I'm, I'm be out I don't touch me if I don't tap in with you before you go to Africa. Make sure you tap. Yeah. We tap in when you get out here, yeah, in April, out and we go day. from there. We going I'm gonna tell you off the record what I got going on, but it's for good. It's for great. Going out. It's for great. It's, this is it, bro. Let's get Love, it, bro. I appreciate it, man. Y'all go, everybody. Comment. Y'all go check it out. Time, Lord Jones disciples. You feel? Y'all go check it out. Check out the memo. Check out the tape. We here. We man. here. Lord, Love, bro. thank you. Salute. Have Ready a good evening. Love. Love, gang. Love. <laughs> oh, all right. We go. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's get it.